is your first alert five weather with Mike Daniels. Yeah, it's a good night to stay in, stay safe and stay warm. That's a live look from Rock Rim and I-25 off in the distance moving smoothly right now. No problems at all. Northeast breeze at night. It feels like 18 degrees. So if you have to get out tonight, you'll certainly want to Dress warmly 32 at the freezing mark in Pueblo with that northeast wind at 14. It feels like 22 degrees. We've got bands of mainly light snow moving across the city right now. There's a live look from Woodland Park. It is just slow and treacherous across most parts of Teller County right now. You know the drill by now. If you have to get out tonight or tomorrow morning, and allow yourself extra time, extra room, and of course, plenty of extra patience. We should be uh, well schooled by now. This is about the fifth storm we've had to deal with in the past seven days. Snowing from the Springs north to Metro Denver all the way to Fort Collins through Pueblo all the way down to portions of the New Mexico border right now in Colorado Springs. Mainly light snow across the city. Northwest, we're getting a little bit more uh, intensity with the snow and also across far southeastern El Paso County, a little more intensity with the snow. Where you see the darker blues, those are the areas getting the heavier amounts of snow right now. That south and southwest side of Pueblo stretches out 78 to Beulah also about 96 and then I-25 south past Stem Beach all the way down to about Colorado City. That snow has really filled in here within the past 60 minutes, increasing in coverage as predicted with the intensity of the storm really now uh, just moving off the mountains across the I-25 corridor. Let me take you through the entire storm. 8 o'clock tonight we'll have snow up and down I-25 spreading all the way out east to the Kansas border by 10 o'clock tonight. No real change, mainly just light bands of snow here across Colorado Springs and Pueblo by 1 o'clock tomorrow morning. Already starting to see some drier air start to punch in across El Paso County. 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, I think the snow will be history here across El Paso County and Pueblo County. But make no mistake, it will be slick and icy on those roads that haven't been treated. How about some sunshine breaks by late tomorrow morning into the afternoon? I think we will have mostly sunny skies here across the News 5 viewing area. Here's how much snow you can expect. A blanket coverage of 1 to 3 will be common across all of Colorado Springs. More north, places like Black Forest Monument 2 to 4, Woodland Park, I think you could could easily end up with three to maybe even five inches of snow by early tomorrow morning in the Pueblo area into Pueblo West, anywhere from two to four inches of snow. Eastern Fremont County, pretty much the same thing. All the heavy snow is going to fall across the mountains, the southern mountains, the wets, the Sangre de Cristos into the wet mountain valley where they will be measuring the snow in feet, not in inches, not out of the question. Maybe see two feet of snow on top of Greenhorn out across the far eastern plains, not a whole lot close to the Kansas border. Further west you go, you'll see those snow amounts increase and it will be a big storm for the Southern Sangres as well. Tomorrow morning, if I-25 hasn't been taken care of by CDOT, you will have slick icy spots from the Springs to Denver. Same from the Springs to Pueblo and 24 from Colorado Springs up into Teller County. Slick and icy as well. Today, it was unseasonably cool once again. Pueblo 39, that's 10 degrees cooler than average. In the Springs, we topped out at 32. Average high this time of the year, 44 degrees. Outside right now, we've got teens, 20s, and 30s here across the viewing area. Even a light wind when it's this cold creates the feels like in Index. So those are current wind chills here across eastern Colorado. Temperatures dropping back to 9 in the springs tonight. The low in Pueblo at 15 degrees. Highs tomorrow certainly cold for this time of the year. Tomorrow will be the coldest day we'll have to deal with. But again, that sunshine from late morning into the afternoon should take the edge off the cold just a little bit. In Colorado Springs, could see a passing flurry on Wednesday. 38 the afternoon high temperature. A little setback on Thursday with dry skies. Friday going to be the warmest day of the entire seven-day forecast period. Windy and chilly on Saturday. New storm developing. This one looks to take shape late Sunday night, continue into Monday. Of course, that one's a long way off. We'll keep you updated as it develops and moves our way. Pueblo weather alert tomorrow for the icy roads. It's going to be a real cold day tomorrow. The high not even reaching the freezing mark. Upper 30s Wednesday and Thursday. The warmest day of the bunch is Friday. Another cold front coming in over the weekend. Right now, it looks like it'll be dry most of the weekend, but late Sunday night, that next storm system taking shape, pushing in some flurries by Monday morning. And for Canyon City afternoon high temperatures on the cold side for the next several days. You'll uh, break out of the uh, deep freeze on Friday only to be uh, set back into the 40s again by Saturday into Sunday. And for Woodland Park, weather alert tomorrow. Look out for slick icy roads if you have to commute early tomorrow morning. Sunshine will start the meltdown process by late morning into the afternoon hours. Flurries possible again on Wednesday and then another storm late Sunday night into Monday.